Welcome everybody to the crypto mining channel. If you want to learn how to build a passive income with cryptocurrencies, make sure to subscribe to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about ARK, why I love the coin, um, why I think it has a great future, and also how we can make the ARK community better. And if we can make the ARK community better, we also make the coin better. So, one of my favorite features of ARC is their smart bridge. So what's a smart bridge? Uh, a smart bridge connects different blockchains which, with one another. So that's a very important feature of ARC. Um, so every currency that makes use of this technology will become more powerful and valuable as a result. So this has a great future and the possibilities are endless. So R can also offer because of this blockchain as a service outside of the blockchain ecosystem. So actually uh, smart bridge is similar to an atomic swap but it's more powerful because atomic swaps they have a downside because they only support communication between blockchains and cryptocurrencies who have the same protocol. So smart bridge doesn't care about any of that because the only requirement needed is the compatibility of the chain to a smart bridge. And most tokens, uh, for example, ERC 20 tokens have that. So a smart bridge simply is the ability to connect and communicate between different blockchains. So through the ARC smart bridge, every blockchain will gain the ability and functionality of every other altcoin. So it's also very, very easy to insert. You only need to insert a small snippet of code. So it's a quick fix. The use cases are endless. So the vision of the ARC smart bridge is an ecosystem of blockchains all interacting with one another. So that makes Smart Bridge very, very exciting. And it's a huge positive for the crypto world. So this is my favorite feature of ARC. And this is why I bought um, some ARC coins already many, many months ago. So as you can see on my monthly uh, staking uh, reward videos uh, that I always have ARC uh, in my possession um, and also you can stake ARC and you can get free ARC coins by just staking so what does staking mean just having them in your wallet and you automatically get ARC tokens so that's why I also love it um, Delegate, it's delegated it's proof of stake, so it's even better than just proof of stake. So you have to, you have to um, vote for a delegate, and then this delegate uh, will fix your payments. Um, and I didn't even talk about the super super fast transaction time of Arc. So Arc has a eight second block time, so it means that it can do 18.75 transactions per second. So if we compare that to Bitcoin, Bitcoin has a 10 minute block uh, block time and Ethereum, for example, has a 14 second block time. So that's why I um, invested in ARK. So this is no financial advice. This is just uh, my opinion. Um, of coins of cryptocurrencies and how I make money. So ARK uh, makes me money. Uh, it's currently super cheap. <laughs> it's super cheap. So I think about 30, 40 cents um, per ARK. So proof of stake and actually delegated proof of stake is according to me in my opinion that's the future so that with that you can also create a passive income so 
every every week you can get paid by just having uh, the coins on your wallet but as i said you have to vote for a delegate and it's important then that you choose the right delegate so to get staking rewards you first have to vote for a delegate you have 50 delegates uh, from which you can choose so this is the list let's start with the first one so the payout percent is 90 percent i want to talk with you about the importance of choosing the right delegate so there are differences between uh, all of the delegates so payout percent here is 100 percent um, uptime 98 percent um, etc so you have 50 where you can choose from so recently i came across a delegate and he's doing a very good job um, to build the arc community to uh, to get arc known to the people so his name is Jarunik. so as here he gives um, an introduction uh, he wants to extend and diversify the arc ecosystem so what he will do is he will foster and protect uh, all our stake in ARC by running a delegate benefiting all stakeholders. So his proposal is focusing on a trustworthy relationship with his voters. He's transparent with everything and he posts regular updates about his various contribution. I rely on good references from voters. So most delegates try to promise and offer better and better profit sharing rates. So Jarunik is running a bounty program to fund ARC projects and contributions instead. So he doesn't promise any sharing ratio and most Forge rewards will go into the bounty program. So what he's trying to do is make the ARC community better. So now my question for you is what do you think is best because um, we all know that a coin relies on um, partly on the community so a coin price also depends partly of how strong the community is and Jarunik is trying to improve the community and uh, wants uh, to get ARC uh, known into the world so question for you imagine uh, for let's say for example you have 100 arc coins what what is the purpose you want uh, you want the coin uh, to become uh, 100 dollars right so how can the coin reach let's say for example 100 dollars the fastest so you have two possibilities one um you choose for a delegate which is trustworthy and gives you a good payout percent 90 percent 100 percent 85 percent um so then you get a lot of uh, payouts the, the most rewards but if the coin price stays low compared to let's compare it to you give a certain percentage of uh, you vote for Jarunik, you give a certain percentage of your total R coins. You don't have to do it with a thousands of R coins, but let's say if you have 100 R coins, you give 10% to Jarunik. So he makes he makes the community better. He does a really fine job. So what he's doing will benefit the arc price partially so compared to let's say you have 100 coins 100 percent you put into um into you put your vote let's say you have a payout percent of 90 percent you get you get every week you get your coins every month 
you get your coins compared to if you would do the same but with 90% of your uh, total coins and you give 10% I just give an example uh, you give 10% or 5% or 1% to Yaronik what will be the most profitable I think that's um, that's an interesting question to ask so I have the utmost respect for Yaronik what he's trying to do uh, he's trying to make uh, Ark better um, so I can only support him in his mission so I'll put all the links in the video in the video description um, you can read his uh, proposal um, I think he's doing a really fine job so I'm gonna search him here he's on the 34th place so please give him some support uh, if you visit his YouTube channel or you visit his Reddit. Um, tell him that I sent you, uh, and he will be he will be happy. So I think that uh, a community is very very important for a coin, um, and I think Ark is a if I dare to say it a super coin, uh, which with which I just. Uh, showed you with the smart bridge. I mean, this is this is unique in the crypto world. Um, so I think this coin has a future. Of course, uh, time will tell. But because of people like Yaronik, I believe that uh, Ark has a pretty steadfast future. So let me know what you think about this video in the video description. Um, I would love to hear your comments if you have any questions ask them in the comments below and of course subscribe for more of these videos so you can learn how to get a passive income with cryptocurrencies and a passive income means you even get paid while you sleep so who doesn't want that so make sure to subscribe make sure to like my video and I hope to welcome you all soon on the crypto mining channel so guys Happy staking, happy mining and talk to you soon. Bye bye.